on to the world of sports and here's Ayo Tunde Balogun. Indeed, Time Now for some Sports News. President Mohamed Buhari has given the directive that those who do not have any business in the Rio 2016 Olympics should not be part of government's contingent. Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Youth and Sports, Chinya Kaoha, made this known when he appeared before the House of Representatives Committee on Sports to brief it on the country's Olympics preparation. The budgetary provision of uh, 514 million that was budgeted for this Olympic, which is very inadequate. The process, as at now, is in the budget office. The balance of uh, approximately 2 billion is before the Minister of Finance because Mr. President asked some sitting questions on how to source the extra budgetary issue so that she will now respond to enable Mr. President to uh, source the fund. On the issue of delegate uh, by the National Assembly, Mr. President has also directed us that anybody that has no, uh, no program in Rio should not be funded. Another professional football leagues club, uh, Warrior Wolves and FC Fangaba have been sanctioned for various crowd trouble incidents. Warrior Wolves will play their next three home games behind closed doors. They have also been fined three million R for pitch invasion during their home game against Wiki Tourists. Ifang Yubar will also find 750,000 Naira after the referee for their home game against Sunshine Stars was also attacked. Belgium have sacked national team coach Mark Wilmot after their highly fancied team of star individuals failed to advance beyond the quarterfinal stage at the Euro 2016 Championships in France. The former Schalke midfield had coached Belgium for four years, taking them to the quarterfinals of the World Cup in Brazil in 2014 and seeing them top FIFA's world ranking chart with a team built around Chelsea's Eden Hazard and Man City's pair of Vincent Kompany and Kevin De Bruyne. Ukraine have appointed former AC Milan and Chelsea striker Andriy Shevchenko as their new manager. The 39-year-old, who won 111 camps, replaces Mikhailo Fomenko, whose four-year spell ended with elimination at the group stage of Euro 2016. Shevchenko was his assistant as Ukraine lost all of their matches against Germany, Northern Ireland and Poland. And that's a wrap in sports news. I'm Ayotunde Balogun. The News at 10 continues shortly. There's been a security breach in Turkey, with a group within the military announcing it's taken control of the country. Traffic has been stopped from crossing bridges in Istanbul. There are reports of gunshots in the capital Ankara and outside the Istanbul police headquarters. Tanks are also said to be stationed outside the Istanbul airport, and all flights have been cancelled. The government had initially denounced the action, describing it as an illegal coup attempt, insisting that it remains in charge. Meanwhile, security forces had been called in to restore order. And over 80 people, including children, have died in the French city of Nice after a lorry struck a crowd celebrating Bastille Day. Officials say the driver was shot dead and guns and grenades were found inside the lorry. About 50 people were also injured in the incident, which happened on France's National Day. François Hollande also says that the attack is of a terrorist nature, and he is expected, has extended, I beg your pardon, a state of emergency across France by three months. The country had been on high alert following last November's attacks in Paris, which are, in which 130 people died and hundreds were wounded. And British Prime Minister Theresa May has made her first official visit as Prime Minister to Scotland. During talks with Scotland's First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, in Edinburgh, Ms May dismissed talks of a second referendum on Scotland's independence from Great Britain. She says the Scottish people had their vote on independence and the issue of breaking away should not be up for debate. 
Mrs May, however, says she'll embrace other options for Scotland to forge a different relationship with the European Union. And on entertainment news tonight, music executive Ubi Franklin clears the air on Inyanya's decision to branch out. Hero details with Maya Wahogundele. Many thanks. Here are your trending entertainment stories. Nigerian reggae music icon Majek Fashak has accused singer Timmy Dakolo of copyright infringement for remaking his classic track, Send Down the Rain. <laughs> Fashek's accusation comes after both artists performed the song together earlier this year. However, Dakolo, who says he would rather not join issues with the legend publicly, maintains he secured permission and actually paid a fee to Majek through his den management, which November Records, the said management agency, has confirmed. Popular Nollywood director Ide Chukuma, popularly called One Soul, is making a transition from feature-led movies to series, beginning with Holy Grail. For the new project, which will be shot in Nigeria and the U.S., One Soul has assembled a stellar cast, including Joseph Benjamin, Sheguarinze, Tina Umba, Belinda Effa, and several others. Popular rapper Keo makes a rare appearance on the music scene with a music video titled True Talk. Produced by Black One, the song was given visual interpretation by Bashim. Following the release of his recent single Chike, former Chocolate City rapper Ice Prince is out of the new single titled Excellency of his super cool cat record label. The single was produced by Il Keys. Mr. Easy drops his latest collaborative effort with rapper Lil Cash, Sample You, the remix. The catchy tune was produced by Guilty Beats. Music duo Bracket returned with a love song titled Fever, following the most recent effort on Sokor. The song was produced by Cook Beats. And that's it on Entertainment. Thank you so much for watching. Let's head back now to the minis. Thanks a lot, Mayawa. And the main news again. The Judicial Commission of Inquiry into a deadly clash between soldiers and members of the Islamic movement of Nigeria in Zaria today submitted its final report to the state governor, Nasir El Rafai. However, members of the Islamic movement of Nigeria raised concern about the processes adopted by the commission. Also today, a federal high court in Abuja turned down the bail application of a former deputy governor of Oshun State, Iola Mishuri, while the former Minister of Aviation, Mr. Femi Fanikayode, has been released from custody after meeting bail conditions. And there's chaos in Turkey, as an army group says it's taken over the country with soldiers at strategic points in Istanbul. Meanwhile, President Recep Tayyip Erdogan says the coup plotters will not succeed, as the situation will be resolved in a short while. That's the news at 10 tonight. Thanks a lot for staying with us. We have a great weekend. I'm Ijoma Honyato. Good night.